the selfie, a symbol of the smartphone age. But here in China, a great photo is only the beginning. Hu Dongyuan and her friends want to repackage themselves for the online world. And, you've guessed it, there's an app for that. It can help you beautify your skin, cover up your flaws and emphasize your best features. China has a world-leading 700 million mobile internet users. And every day millions of Chinese women are editing and sharing photos using apps like these. What you post on social media is just like an advertisement. There is certainly a difference between the advertisement and the actual product. So everyone uses it as a kind of personal advert. And you hope people see a better version of your original appearance. China's homegrown app companies are flourishing. From shopping to health, many apps target young women, a powerful consumer force. I think nowadays Chinese women, especially in first-tier cities, are no longer trying to please other people. It's more about pleasing themselves. One company, valued at $4.6 billion when it listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange last year, claims its apps process half of all pictures posted on Chinese social media. I think internet and tech companies in China have become very refined in terms of innovation. For example, the Meitu app firm is very professional, so it has created this demand. In foreign countries, Instagram is maybe only an app with filters, but in China apps have become extremely professional. But profits remain elusive. Meitu lost $320 million in the first half of 2016 suggesting there are many more makeovers to go.